Babe, do you know who this is? She looks familiar. Is that my, like one of my cousins? Don't be stupid. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. It looks familiar. Maybe a maid? Okay. <laughs> So my husband woke me up in the middle of the night because he was hungry and wanted a snack. And I was so tired, but I was the good little wifey and took my ass to the kitchen. And I whipped him up a little snack. A lot of women do not agree with the kind of wife I am, but my grandmother always taught me with all the temptation in the world, you got to do what you got to do to keep your man at home. Thanks, One more thing, don't ever go to bed with a dirty kitchen. I tried to kiss my brother's best friend, but he rejected me twice. So I matched with this guy on Bumble and like just then I'm like a cute little like hey there how are you whatever his message back was an audio message which first bold bold but listen hey Trish happy Friday how are you today that voice that voice is a it is it is a crime against women I'm immediately pregnant you know that sound that's like I'm Gabby and I'm pregnant as that was me after getting that message. Like, sir, your voice oozes sex. How dare you come at me that way? I mean, thank you. You made my day. The hottest thing I've ever heard. But like, fuck. Spartans! What is your profession? So I had a young Karen, also known as a Becky, slide into my DMs. What she said was sweet and simple. She goes, I don't get you. Now I was intrigued by this, so I responded by saying, what? She said, well, you have a lot of followers, but you only have like one or two good videos, and that's it. Well, after a 16 second view of her profile, it didn't take Scooby-Doo to figure out the mystery of what videos of mine she was talking about. You see, this Becky is part of Thought TikTok, also known as Thoughtcock. Every single one of her thumbnails was her in a bikini with her rear end facing the camera. So I'm assuming the videos of mine she's talking about are the ones where I went full f boy. You know, the tan pants. You know the ones. So I messaged her and I said, well, I try to do as much original content as I can, and I think sometimes people appreciate that. She said, well, you'd probably have more followers if, you know, you did the dances and stuff. I said, f I'd probably have more followers if I had tits too, but neither of those things are gonna happen. Happy birthday. No, I'm good. No, you're not taking the bag. Look at no, Daniel, stop. You'll get the bag. No, you're not getting the bag. You're not getting no stop. You get no no, 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 no,
showing a picture of my ex to my boyfriend. This picture. Who is this? My ex. This is your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. We've been dating for so long, and now you're showing me your ex-boyfriend. What are you, like, jealous or something? Jealous? I am concerned, Marie. I am concerned. Why are you concerned? Look at him. What? I always knew I couldn't trust you around handsome guys. Now I know I can't trust you around ugly guys either, Maria. Look at him. Promise me that you'll be on your best behavior. I promised other people that I'd be on my worst behavior. Girl trip to Miami, never gonna happen. Because a lot of girls would be like, oh... We all have boyfriends, like why? Bro, if you're on a yacht in Miami, somebody gotta be putting out somehow. Some way, and I ain't gonna take the chance if it's my girl, F that. So if the girls trip, yeah, we you can go on the girls trip, we will break up, and on the Monday or whenever you come back, we will discuss what you did and how your actions were, and if I'm disgusted, we will no longer be together. Future relations, 1016. Wait. Hey, babe. Are we getting it on tonight? Do you have to drink after work every day? You scared the fucking dog out of me, first of all. All right, I won't drink. Let's talk about your day. What'd you do at work today? I don't have a job. You know this. Hmm. How about that? Fuck you, Bill. Hi, y'all. Let's make some lunch for my husband. Tomorrow's going to get a club sandwich. I'm just starting off with three pieces of butter toast. I'm adding lettuce and ham. I'm putting the mayo onto the ham just to prevent any sogginess. I'm adding another piece of toast, some pepper jack cheese, and some Dave's hot pickles. I'm also adding another piece of lettuce and some crispy bacon. I'm going to fold that over and cut it diagonally. Some of those pieces of bacon fell out, but that's just because it's super crispy. But look how pretty that is. Um, I'm wrapping it in some parchment paper and putting some toothpicks in there just to hold everything together. In his other container, he's going to get some peaches. I have a paper towel on there just to prevent any of the peach juice from leaking onto the trail mix side and making it soggy. In his lunch bag, he's going to get some snacks. I'm just packing some cheese crackers, a Cliff Bar, the H-E-B Doritos, an orange Gatorade, and his overnight oats. Bye, y'all. I want to show you guys some habits I implement into my everyday life to keep my house clean. First is loading the dishwasher at night and unloading it in the morning and then reloading it after breakfast and then I can just reload it throughout the day. I always do one load of laundry a day as well and also fold it when it's done. I keep a small basket of these little microfiber cloths behind our mirror so I can wipe down the mirror. I have to. My toddler loves putting her hands on it and then also to just dust. And after that, I always turn on our air purifier after I dust because it just gets so stuffy. And of course, I always make my bed. If you can do anything, let it be making your bed. It just pulls the whole room together. I also try to vacuum every day because we have a mini Aussie that sheds, so I really do need to try and vacuum every single day. And then last but not least, I always wipe down our bathroom counters just because hairspray and dry shampoo and stuff can get stuck there. So my wife is probably the best wife in the world. She is so extra. Take a look at what she did for my birthday. Avocado and orange salad. 
beef tartare and liver mousse, lobster bisque, rack of lamb with potatoes and carrots, octopus and squid ink risotto, last entree beef wellington, chocolate mousse, mini pavlova cake. Because my husband plays in the NFL, people love to call me things like gold digger or trophy wife or my personal favorite, jersey chaser. The thing is, my husband and I met when we were 15 and started dating when we were 17. So I had the absolute privilege of witnessing this and this evolve into this and this. Okay, so please stop calling me a gold digger and call me for what I am. A psychic.